How's it going out there? Welcome to H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to add an email account to your uh, Windows 8 computer. Uh, Windows 8 has added uh, a new really beautiful um, uh, mail application that's very easy and simple for you to read your emails, reply, delete. So you don't necessarily have to log on to the website anymore of whatever website if you have Yahoo, AOL, Gmail you can basically put in your account information you can sync it up with the computer and then when you turn on the computer your emails just be right there waiting for you so let me go ahead and show you how to do this take your mouse move it up to the upper right corner and go down to where it says start and we'll take you here which is our start screen and you want to look for um, the one that has an envelope like this if when you move your mouse over it will say mail go ahead and click on it this will take you to the email section okay and so um, there's going to be one email account synced on here and and that's because when you set up Windows 8 it does require you to have a hotmail or a live email address so because you need that to even set the computer there is going to be one account already synced on the computer now to add your own email maybe you have AOL Yahoo Gmail um, I'm gonna walk you through how to do that okay so what you're going to do is take your mouse and move it to the upper and right corner and go down to where it says settings and then you want to go to where it says accounts and now you're going to click add an account so you have some options here you can add a hotmail outlook google aol yahoo or other now let me point this out to you guys um, I was with a client recently and we figured that Roadrunner accounts do not work yet with this new application. So if you have a Roadrunner, which is a, um, a Time Warner email address, you will not be able to sync it with this account as of right now. Now today is December 7th, 2012. Now this could change sometimes I make a video and it's updated. People are like, that's not true. Well, as of today, I checked this and it would not let us sync an account that was a Roadrunner account. So these are the main ones that it will let you sync. So you got to stick to those for now and then I'm sure they will add more in the future. So let's go ahead and sync up an account. Um, so I'm going to do a Yahoo. Go ahead and click on Yahoo. Actually, um, yeah, let me go ahead and do Yahoo. So click on, we'll click on Yahoo. And all you have to do is type in your email address and password. So a very simple process. This is the email I have now and now at ymail.com. Put in the password. Hit connect. And what it'll do now is it'll begin to uh, add your account. Okay. Now this can take anywhere from a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. But as you can see, it was very quick it's already synced up so just to show you how easy this process is you don't need much information to make this work you just pretty much email a password it does the rest of the work for you now so these are all this is my inbox right here and it says inbox you can go to your drafts you can go to sent mail so you can see what you've sent out your outbox this is if you maybe have sent an email and it hasn't been sent yet it will normally be in the outbox uh, you can see deleted mail now now with this application it is very nice it works well but normally it only goes back up to two weeks so if you have emails that are that have been in like for example your drafts or your sent mail or deleted items for more than two weeks you may not see it in here because this isn't really optimized to take everything from that online it takes more of the more recent information okay so just keep that in mind now Here's the cool part at the bottom here. Um, these are how you jump between your different accounts. So I remember I have my live account, which is the one I uh, I use to set up my Windows 8. So I have my live email and then I have my uh, my Ymail. Now it's really simple. You can just click right here and you can jump to that account. So they make it really easy to go between your different accounts. Now on one of my computers that has Windows 8, I have about eight different accounts synced up, and it works really fine so if you have multiple accounts all you literally have to do is go to the upper right corner and go to settings go to account and this go to add an account and you can sync another account you can have multiple accounts synced up that's the cool part about this is you know and um the interface is very uh user friendly now if you right click on the mouse 
you have an, an, an option down here that pops up as well. So these are just a couple of other things. Uh, if you need to move an email, for example, I'm this email is highlighted so I can actually move it to a folder by clicking move. You can, you can even mark it as an unread. So when you mark something as unread, it means that it'll make the email look like it's a new email, whereas this email is is not lit up like this one so this is basically saying I've read this one already but I haven't read this one um, you can delete emails from here and it will delete them right onto your it will delete the emails on the Yahoo server as well so when you delete it here it's gone so for example let's say I want to delete this uh, audible.com email actually you know I'll delete this Adobe system I'm going to click on it and you can Go up to this trash can in the corner, the upper right corner. You can just click delete and it's gone. Or there's a shortcut where you on your keyboard you can press control and the D button and that will also delete it. Now one other thing I want to show you is you can actually delete more than one email at one time. If you obviously this email is selected right now. If I hold the shift button on the keyboard, shift S H I F T, hold down on shift. And I click on another email. I can click on this one, and this one, and this one. I can select all four of these at one time, and then I can go up here and hit delete, and it's gone. Okay. So just uh, wanted to go into some of the basics of using the email uh, application. Now, if you want to write an email, you click on the plus right here. Click that. It sets it up for you to write a new email. So here's your uh, two box, your CC. You can also add a BCC and you can change the priority. And then you can add your subject and then you're going to actually have your email information right here. And I'll do a separate video on this and kind of go over some more detailed information on um, how to use this. But kind of want to just do a basic overview since we were doing this. So. I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, this has been how to add an email account on Windows 8. Um, again, I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and keep watching. All right? Have a good one.